Hello everyone, today in this video, I will show you how to extract zip file and in store in a folder in SharePoint Online, document library as well as in your OneDrive location. For example, in my previous video, I have shown how to create zip file using Power Automate Flow. This is the zip file which I have created. In my OneDrive location and similarly I have here. This is the zip file in my SharePoint document library folder. Right? So now what I will do is I will do the reverse engineering of this process. I will extract this zip file and store in another folder. Let's say this is the folder I created here. All the files will be extracted and stored here or placed here. Similarly for SharePoint, I created this folder in here in this location. I will extract the zip file and I will place all the files here using the power automate flow. Now let's get back to my flow. What I have developed one thing I must say here, creating zip file and unzipping a file. or extracting zip file is different process and this is much more easier than creating a zip file, right? So this is my manually trigger flow. I have here this trigger, then I have added two actions on. For OneDrive, another is for SharePoint document library. I have extract archive to folder for OneDrive and for SharePoint, I have added extract folder actions. I'll show you how I added these. Just go to add an action and search with the something like extract text. Then I'll go to OneDrive. I'll go with the OneDrive for business here. Then I will search it again with the extract. Text, I selected this action, extract archive to folder. Let's click on this. This will be your source file path that is your zip file path and this is the destination folder. We want to unzip your zip file. The overwrite parameter is optional. If you select yes, your file will be overwritten. By default, this is no. I have done this configuration already here. I will not use the new one. This is the destination folder path where I am going to unzip the files and I have selected this overwrite as yes. It means if you have the same file, it will be overwritten by this Boolean. Attribute. Let's delete this one, which I don't need. I'll use the one which I already configured. Right? Similarly, I have added an extract folder here for SharePoint, and I'll show you how to add an extract folder new action. I will search with the text something like extract folder. I'll search with extract text. Right? Now I could see I don't need to do further. Refinement, I can see and select extract folder. Action. This is site address and it is the source file path and that is nothing but your zip file path and this is the target folder. Location or destination folder path. We want to unzip your file. This overwrite flag is same like above. This flag is by default, no. 
This is same as the OneDrive action configuration. I will not do the configuration here. I have already configured this action. I will explain from there. Exactly, I did the same here. This is the site address, and this is the source zip file path. This is the destination folder where I'm going to. Unzip my zip file. This overwrite flag set as yes. That means if you have the same file will be overwritten. By default, this value is no. That's it. The configuration is done. The configuration for the both the actions. OneDrive and SharePoint are done. This is pretty simple, isn't? I'm going to delete this one because already I have the working and configured action. What I explained in this flow, I will show you more practically. This is my zip file path in my OneDrive. Exactly, I am passing here this zip file path and here in this destination. Folder path. The files will be extracted or unzipped. I'm going there. So in this folder, the files will be extracted. So this is empty for now. Similarly, I have a zip file in my SharePoint document library. I will show you what is that. This is the zip file I created using my flow. Right? And this I'm passing as a source zip file path and for the destination folder path. I created this folder in my document library where extracted files from zip file will go there. Right? So this is the folder where the files will be extracted or unzipped and all the extracted files will be placed here. So both destination folders are empty. Intentionally, I kept these empty to show this demo. You can see here. You also can see here. Now we'll just run this flow manually. And see that all files are unzipped automatically. Extracted and placed all the files under their respective destination folders. Right? And let's run this Power Automate flow. I'm running it. This is running. Based on your source zip file size and content, the flow run will take time to complete. So I can see that my flow ran successfully. First, I'll go to OneDrive. Yes, exactly. I could see that I got my all the files here. And unzipped. And notice in just a few seconds ago, these files have been created and modified. Now, similarly, I'll go to my SharePoint. I will just press F5 to reload this page. Right, this was just empty a few seconds ago. Now you can see that. Files. The zip file has been extracted and all the files came over here. And I can see both my flow actions are in green ticked, which indicates successfully ran. Let's inspect this flow run to see the runtime executed values. We can see how these values look. Right? That's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, artificial intelligence, and many more.
kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thanks for watching this video. Have a very nice time. Thank you.